Hi, this video will give you an overview of using BigBlueButton as a student. When you first join a session, you'll be prompted to join the audio. You have two choices. One is you can join with your microphone so other people can hear you, or if you wish, you can just join listen only. When you click listen only, a headset icon will appear next to your name in the users list. This means you can hear, but no one else can hear you. No worries, if you want to join with your microphone later on, you can just click the phone icon to hang up and click it again to join. This time I'll choose microphone. And before I join, I'll just be put into this private room where I can test an echo of myself and hear how I sound. I sound. Testing. 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 Sounds, Sounds good. good. And I can join the audio. Now when I speak, a microphone highlights. And that tells me I'm generating energy. But it's a good idea unless you wanted to talk you are to now just muted. mute yourself. And just clicking on the microphone icon will mute yourself. And you can see here in the users list, I have a microphone with a slash through it as well. The users list shows you all the uses during the session. So the person with a presentation icon to the left of their name, that's the instructor. They're the one controlling the slides. You have the ability to say or share some emojis as well. So you could tell the instructor, happy, things are going well. Maybe you have a question to raise your hand. Maybe you want to give some applause. And at any time you can clear as well. The window below it is the webcams. This is where any webcams being shared during a session will be visible. Usually it's just the instructor sharing their webcam, but you can share your webcam too. To share your webcam, click the share webcam icon. A preview will come up. You can look at it. If it looks good. You can start sharing. Other webcams will appear here as well. So if I share a webcam here from my laptop, there'll be two webcams that appear and three and four and so on. Now you can make any one of the windows larger. So here I can just drag it around, but there's actually even easier way. So in custom layout, I can say, uh, maybe during this meeting, I want to focus on the webcams, not so much the presentation. Or I can do a layout video chat. So here it's just the video. Or if I wish, I can go back to default layout. If you want to stop sharing your webcam, you can just click the webcam icon again to stop sharing. And I'll do the same over here. On the right hand side is a chat. The public chat is where all students and instructors can collaborate back and forth. So the instructor has already put in the words welcome. I can put in the words that say glad to be here. You can also receive a private chat as well. So the instructor can send, anyone can send you actually, uh, a private chat. So if I send, uh, let's see, Fred, hi. And here I've got a private chat and it's indicated by a new tab opened up and it's red. And I can see the instructor said hi, and I can say, I'm ready. And if anybody were to type into the public chat while I'm in a different chat, again, the public chat will highlight in red, and you can see that. And you can go back and see it. The center part is where the instructor will move the slides around. So they can control what's there, and you can see what they're pointing at by a red dot. I'm actually doing this in another session, but I'm just moving my mice around to point. I also, as the instructor or the presenter, have some tools that I can do. So I can highlight, I can zoom in, I can zoom out, and I can basically control the presentation area. A lot of times the instructor might actually do a poll question, and the poll has to do with what was in the presentation. So here I've gone to a slide that says, sample polling question, who was the first person to run the four minute mile? If the instructor starts a poll, you'll hear a sound, you might've just heard it, and you'll see the choices below. I think the answer is A. And I'm gonna choose A here on my other laptop. And as the instructor, I'm gonna publish it. And there, you can see the polling results below. Other options you have as a student is you can change the language if you want. There's lots of languages supported in the big blue button. It should come up to your default language, but if you wanted to change it to something else, you can just choose a different language. I'll go back to English. In the upper right hand corner, there's an icon which shows you whether the session is being recorded or not. So if the session is being recorded, you'll see that icon change to red. That tells you the instructor has enabled the recording. The session will be visible afterwards as a recording. And if the instructor stops the recording, it goes back to gray. The shortcut keys give you some shortcuts to move around the interface if you want. The help button, takes you to a page at the Big Blue Button website with the tutorial videos. And finally, log out. That's it. That's an overview of Big Blue Button from the point of view as a student.